Good morning. I had to laugh because I was watching a video about African farmers that were educating each other instead of uh, waiting for Monsanto or IMF to bring them lots of money and fertilizer and chemicals. <laughs> and that's exactly what they said. They said, well, you know, if you, if you leave the people in power, uh, do their thing, then they'll just uh, run off with the money and leave us with nothing. And then uh, IMF will come in and offer us all kinds of uh, ways to improve our agriculture. But our earth is dead because we basically not, we don't know enough. <laughs> we can't really grow anything. And he says, well, it's ridiculous because if your government doesn't listen to you, what you're going to do, you know, that's impossible. <laughs> it's like, this is an African country and it seems like you're listening to somebody in the streets of New York or something like that. That's not very rich. It's really a lethal industry, uh, the, the Trinity, that's uh, destroying the US and is keeping itself alive as long as possible. Believing that it's a benefactor to the US society, but it is of course n not a benefactor. It's actually a huge uh, danger because uh, once uh, the cheap energy runs out, it can't function anymore and then suddenly you have nothing. So uh, I have a proposal for the American people to learn from the African uh, brethren and, uh, and start starving the beast, literally. That would be uh, very easy and uh, I told, talked about it uh, way uh, a long time ago when I said, well, the people that are uh, in these uh, delis in New York should simply stop selling anything to people from uh, financial institutions. You know, if they come down to get their cappuccino or their bagel, just don't give it to them. Uh, starve them. Because they are basically starving and killing people in the US uh, as a matter of their attempt to, to survive. They're reducing uh, the value of pensions there because that would mean that somebody would be able to get the energy in the future and there's no more energy then so to hide that fact everybody is being cut off financially so it's not noticeable that there's <laughs> much less fuel to go around even though the prices are rising apparently starve it and and on the other hand demand uh, productive uh, means uh, everybody should do that it's uh, uh, even in Holland, you have this. It's it's like uh, uh, it's a little bit like judo. Uh, people move uh, in the financial uh, system and, and in the housing market with the punches. So housing uh, market is going to collapse. Prices will uh, deteriorate, deteriorate uh, significantly. So now there's an announcement that uh, uh, that uh, cities will uh, build more standard houses, even more standard for uh, a reduced price, 25% reduction. Uh, but they will of course be uh, very cheap and very uh, standard. Uh, that is of course to hide the fact that there's no interest for houses that are 25% more expensive. And especially not if they're, if they're let's say, uh, we say uh, standard worst or so, of like factory uh, churned out. It's that whole factory mentality, uh, the fact that the consumer doesn't have any uh, or doesn't covet and doesn't appreciate and doesn't see the nobility in knowing how to do things anymore. It's basically being told that if, you're, uh, if you grow your own food you're a terrorist and if you have your own opinion you're a terrorist and if you don't buy Coca-Cola you're a terrorist. <laughs> you know, it's, actually, that's, it's just uh, pure coercion. It's pure uh, uh, forcing people to do uh, what is most uh, in the interest of, uh, interest of, of, the, of, the, of the Trinity. And it should be, uh, it, I really believe that that's, you know, as long as it's in power, as long as it's supplying your city and your supermarket with whatever crap you can find there, the, there's something wrong. And you should not allow them to provide you with crap. You should demand your state to, to make sure that your municipality or city or wherever you are uh, is capable of producing its own crap. <laughs> because then there's lots more feedback, lots more influence, and you might say, well, that costs a lot of money, but that cost will be paid in labor, and that means jobs. So it's, it's, a, it's a nice trade-off. Eventually, uh, you will have to go to alternative energy anyway. You have to learn to you have to learn to live of the land and, 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 what, and what your territory uh, gives you. 
because other people are not going to give it to you because there's billions and billions of people in areas that are just not located in the right place. You know, that's just stuffed together like 15 million people in Mexico City and 15 million people in Mumbai and all these places. Well, maybe they'll they'll do well for for a while, but uh, you know that in Mumbai many people are living uh, by the side of the street and are flushed away with the monsoon every year, several thousands of them. It's not a tenable situation. It's not a situation of nobility, as these people in the African documentary say. They don't have a sense of of being independent. Uh, they don't have a sense of uh, of, of of being uh, strong. They just have a sense of being completely uh, lost and rendered to uh, to to be weak and to be and to suffer. You know. And now with a government that is run by a president that. I think made the right choice, by the way, by extending the tax cuts for the rich. Uh, you might uh, be against that uh, concept, but he did it to protect the welfare recipients, which would have been cut off because the the GOP is without mercy. It is uh, it is uh, a mer <laughs> it's basically a genocidal operation. So it wants to cut it off. The argument they use is well, you know, uh, you. You can extend them, but then what do you do next year? And you can extend them beyond that, and what do you do then? Yes, that's that's exactly what Einstein said. If you you're, you're crazy, if you do the same thing and you expect a different result, so you shouldn't be surprised that there is no different result if you don't change anything. That's the opposite of it, of course. So yes, you should be some do something different uh, than extending the the, the benefits. Uh, but that doesn't mean that cutting them off is that other thing. You should educate the people, give them land, uh, and give them the opportunity to develop uh, renewable energy, to develop their their skills, and make sure that they uh, well are able to cope because they are willing. <laughs> it's like people are. It's like people. The, the consumer, of course, is dependent, and the attitude of a consumer is to be screaming like a baby. Like give me this, give me that, and, and provide me this, provide me that, and then of course the the, the good merciful uh, industrialist uh, Trinity uh, member will come running and say, well, here we have uh, phosphor, you have plastic, you have oil, you have Coca Cola, you have Seven Up, you have hamburgers. We'll cut down the rainforest there, so you can have a lot, lots and lots of soya uh, bread, hamburgers with GM crop, you know, and uh, make it more productive for you. Well, we'll cater for you, we'll help you. Well, <laughs> it's just a, a wank uh, job, uh, self, uh, you know, <laughs> auto fallacious uh, 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 ruse or, or or psychosis that these uh, people in the Trinity are in. Because what they should do is they should make themselves obsolete. You know, if you had spent the fuel differently in the 20th century then we might all have renewable energy and we might all have food grown locally, healthy and we'd be all very protected and of course uh, highly educated so we would not be breeding like, uh, well, <laughs> we would not be behaving as if we need as much uh, uh, people as possible in the world. And uh, we would all be doing well, but there's this class of people that wants to get things for us and then feel good about it. <laughs> and in the process they destroy everything. You know, help them out of their illusion and, and starve the beast. Stop serving them food, literally. Stop serving them drinks, literally. Tell them that uh, you know if they want to get served, they have to serve. And not uh, and not destroy on one end and feel good about it on the other. So thanks for listening. Uh, <laughs> I'm uh, going to continue to work on the bar to share sites.